Welcome back everyone. This is going to be our Algebra 2 Linear Functions Lesson number 6, Linear Piecewise Functions Homework Review. And this is question number 1. For f of x, you have 5x minus 3 when x is less than negative 2, x plus 8 when negative 2 is less than equal to x is less than equal to less than 3, and 1 third x plus 7 when x is greater than equal to 3. Evaluate each of the following carefully applying the correct formula. So now the first question is asking you for f of 2. Now what we have to do is determine which of these which of these functions is going to have a domain of f of 2. Well, it means x has to be 2, but it can't be for the first one because that's for only when x is less than negative 2 can't be for the last one, the third one, because x has to be greater than, greater than 3. So f of 2 would have to work out for the function x plus 8 because 2 is between negative 2 and 3. And so we're going to use the function x plus 8, so f of 2 becomes 2 plus 8, which is equal to 10. So that's the first one. Our second one was going to be f of negative 4. And so again, we're looking for which of these three pieces has, has negative 4 as part of its domain. So we see in this case, it has to be the first one, 5x minus 3, because negative 4 is going to be less than negative 2. So it has to be for this one. So, so for the second one, ii, f of negative 4 will be equal to 5 times negative 4 minus 3. So we use that one. And so 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Minus 3 is equal to negative 23. Okay, so now we have the first one. f of 2 is equal to 10. And f of negative 4 is equal to negative 23. We're now going to work on f of 3. And f of 3, very important in this case, when x is equal to 3, it's not going to be for the first second, but for the third one, because that includes all values of x greater than or equal to 3. So for our third question, i, 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 f of 3 is going to be equal to 1 third times 3 plus 7. And so that's equal to 1 plus 7, or equal to 8. So that's f, I, I, well, that's f, f of negative 4. Uh, f of 3, sorry, f of 3. And then finally, for, for uh, question 4, for part A, f of 0. And 0 is located here between neg 2 and 3. So, so in this case, f of 0 for this question here, f of 0 is equal to 0 plus 8 or equal to 8, okay? So, reminder, f of 2 equals 10, f of negative 4 equals neg 23, f of 3 was equal to positive 8, and f of 0 was also equal to positive 8. Okay, and we had to determine which piece uh, for the functions would work out. So you, again, based upon domain. Part B, the three linear functions have y-intercepts of negative 3, 8, and 7 respectively. Yet the function should have only one y-intercept. Which of these is the y-intercept for this function? And explain how you made your choice. Okay. So, remember, the y-intercept is when y equals 0. Okay, so let's put that down. I'm going to make this, uh, come scroll this down here. So we know in this case, we're going to make the statement, the y-intercept is the y-value of the function when x equals 0. And so we found f of 0. f of 0 we found to be equal to 8. Therefore, there's only one y-intercept. 
reason why it's not in this case it was for the second function i believe the the function x plus 8 because we want to find when x equals 0 and that only occurs in this part for all values of x negative 2 to 3. And the reason why you will not have y up to negative 3 or 7 is mainly because of the fact that those graphs when we do graph them will not reach the y-axis because for 5x minus 3 x has to be less than negative 2 which means that x cannot equal 0 and for 1 third x plus 7 x has to be greater than equal to 3, which means it cannot be equal to 0. So the only one that will have, give us a y-intercept will be x plus 8, because we're looking for values of x between neg 2 and 3, 0 being one of them. So the y-intercept is going to be 8. Okay, so here we go, our y-intercept. is equal to is equal to eight okay and then for part c calculate the average rate uh, rate of change of f over the interval negative three is less than equal to x is less than equal to nine all right so for this problem here we need to find f of neg 3 and then find f of 9. So the average rate of change, the average rate of change, which is like slope, would be f of 9 minus f of neg 3 over 9 minus 3 minus neg 3. Okay, so f of neg 3, again, that goes back to the the type of, well, in this case, our domain, in this case, of negative 3. And so negative 3 is going to be here for for the top one 5x minus 3 mainly because of the fact that that function that piece of function deals with all values of x less than negative 2 and so we would have in this case let me make this page width so we're going to use oops sorry about that we're going to use 5x I believe it was 5x minus 3, right? Oh, my memory is so bad. Yeah, 5x minus 3, of course. Okay, so 5 times negative 3 minus 3. That's equal to neg 15 minus 3 is negative 18. f of 9, well, let's go back and take a look. When x equals 9, we're going to be looking at this third function because that's when x is greater equal to 3, 9 being one of those numbers. So f of 9 will be f of 1 third x plus 7. So 1 third x, which is 9 here, plus 7. Now, 1 third of 9 is 3, plus 7 is 10. So we continue now for the average rate of change. We're going to find f of 9, which is 10, minus f of negative 3, which is negative 18 over 9 minus negative 3, which is the same as 9 plus 3, or 12. Okay, and of course, we do the whole keep change change thing. This becomes a positive. This goes, this goes a plus and, and a positive. So now we get 28 over 12, which we can simplify by dividing top and bottom by 4 to get the average rate of change to be 7 over 3. Okay, and that will be, in this case, let me make this full page, that will be the end of question number one. So we, which was a lot, we did a lot here, ladies and gentlemen. We had to determine in this case, uh, if we want to evaluate the function, we had to figure out which, which of these three functions we're going to use based upon the domain or interval that each of these functions sh show. And so here in this case, f of two, that would be in this case for the all values of x between negative 2 and 3, which is x plus 8. f of negative 4, that would be in the, in the domain for x is less than negative 2. Therefore, we use 5x minus 3 as our rule. We found f of 3, and that would be for the domain x is greater than equal to 3, which in this case is 1 third x plus 7. And we plugged f, f of 0 would be, in this case, x plus 8, because 0 is between negative 2 and 3 for your domain.
and of course then we just found in this case that would be a y-intercept a y-intercept is when uh, the value of x is equal to zero and only one of them has that domain and finally we found f of negative three and f of nine based upon the piecewise function and from there found the average rate of change which is like a lot like our slope Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. This is going to be the end of question number one, which was a big question. So we'll continue with our other questions in later videos. If you found this help video helpful, please give it a like and leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. We appreciate you guys watching. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe. And of course, um, leave it, uh, in this case, turn on notifications and to make sure that you're notified when new videos are added to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and be safe.